you, thank you very much indeed, and thank you uh, for giving us this opportunity. Um, as as Kian mentioned, I'm uh, new at the at the journal, so I'm in this rather strange position of um, reporting on something for for which um, I can take uh, no no credit whatsoever. Um, but it's a it's a um, scheme which now has developed considerably since since uh, uh, 2018. And I'll, I'll say just a couple of words at the end, maybe about how it links with, with um, other in, in initiatives. So the, um, the program uh, started in, in 2018, um, and we saw a need for early researchers to gain experience by working with an experienced uh, associate editor. Um, the entrance criterion was we, we wanted people with PhDs and a publication record, but who were not experienced with um, editorial. Um, and we offered two uh, mentorships um, each year in two of the disciplines I'll show you in a minute, uh, represented by the journal. And we um, get feedback and, a sur and uh, survey these to, you know, to see how the, the, the program is going. And I think one of the key features of this mentorship program is that it's quite open. Um, it's relatively unstructured um, and mentors and mentees negotiate between them exactly how they're going to um, do this, this, this mentoring. And at the end of the mentorship process, the mentees um, are given a certificate of completion. So um, we started in 2018, as I've mentioned, and we're, we are continuing. And uh, as you'll see there, we are going through the different um, areas. We have 10 associate editors. So we're slowly going through the, the different areas of interest covered by our uh, interdisciplinary um, journal. And because the journal is multidisciplinary, we do have these 10 associate editors um, who advise the editor-in-chief, it was currently uh, me, about uh, submissions. Um, and um, associate editors have, have um, quite wide powers. They're, they're able to um, reject without review um, or to select and invite peer reviewers, make a decision, um, ask for revisions and accept. So in fact, they, they fulfill a function which in smaller journals that I've worked for would be fulfilled by the editor-in-chief in and they also um, advise the editor-in-chief. I mean, the mentees partner with their particular associate editor in their field. Um, and in this way, it's a, a sort of a, an apprenticeship model. They learn the skills of their, their um, particular approach and their um, disciplinary area. Um, so as I've mentioned, our, our brief to mentors and mentees is quite broad. So none of this will come as a surprise. We expect, I mean, our mentors to develop a good working relationship and, and uh, supportive relationship with the mentor to provide structured guidance and information and to support and advise the mentee technologically and editorially and to transfer disciplinary and other knowledge and particularly knowledge about, about publishing and to really give the mentee a window into how a journal works by sharing decisions, reviews and conversations uh, and you know, where there are difficulties, although we've had very few of these, to raise matters of mutual concern. And, and ideally, all of this leads to the building of um, editorial capacity in a less experienced scholar. The mentee similarly is expected to, be, to develop a good relationship with her mentor or his mentor, um, to, to define their own goals for what they want out of mentorship and what their expectations are and to work as closely as possible with the, the, the mentor in, in order to learn about um, editing and to share some of the responsibility of an associate editor. We also depend on our mentees, and they've been very useful in this way, um, to expand our network of reviewers, um, introduce the journal to colleagues and colleagues to the journal. And we want to give them experience of working in a community of practice in our journal and to participate in that community. Um, they have opportunities through seeing all the submissions to learn about different subfields and the latest research in their fields, um, 
to learn about writing and quality writing, which is a major issue that I might talk about a little bit at the end. And we hope that this leads to improved confidence um, and we expect them to raise issues um, of concern. So slightly more, more formally, uh, we require the, um, the mentee to act as a second associate editor. Um, and we would like that to be in at least five submissions in collaboration with the mentor um, to invite and guest edit at least one research or review paper to take it through the whole process from invitation to publication to act as an assessor for two um, uh, submissions to the uh, uh, front, front section of, of our, our journal has a section in the front with commentaries um, and so on, which, which often discuss interdisciplinary issues about science more broadly. Um, we like our um, associate editors to write and submit a contribution for the front section, a book review, obituary, profile, news item or, or commentary. Um, to attend uh, uh, webinars and workshops. We have people on this call at events uh, which uh, represent or market our journal and other goals which um, between the mentor and the mentee that they may, may sit. So, in, so the, the mentee is essentially part of the editorial team advising on policies and procedures. We're currently looking um, within the journal at issues to do with um, editing of, of peer reviews and we're hoping that the, the mentees, for example, will participate in that. They attend associate editor meetings. We're having one later um, in the month. And to, to join, indeed, this forum that we're, we're speaking in. I'm going to show you now just a, some slides from uh, Sydney Moyo, um, who's been marketing the, 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 the program for us. Um, uh, and we say that the associate editor mentee is a is a, is a learning partner, learning in a spirit of equality and reciprocity, um, working in a team, um, learning about etiquette, listening and, and learning about processes. And we hope that the editor gains um, skills in understanding the editorial process, being more exposed to research um, and understanding the, the difficult role in fact of, of, of editors, not as gatekeepers, but as as architects and the role of patients. Um, and we hope that this is fun for our associate um, editors. As I mentioned earlier, we um, have uh, consistently looked uh, to both our mentors and our mentees for feedback on this program. And overwhelmingly, the feedback has been um, excellent. Um, the, um, generally speaking, the mentees themselves rated uh, their experiences um, as the, 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 the best possible. They felt that the program benefited the, the journal. The mentors felt similarly, but um, sort of similarly positive, but um, it is clear that the work of being a mentor does add to the load of um, our associate editors, and we're very grateful to our associate editors um, for this. Um, in some of the um, feedback that, that we've got, we've had some very positive responses. Um, in, in fact, I can't think of anything negative um, in the responses that, that, that we've had. Lots of thanks. People have seen this as a great opportunity. They found it helpful. Uh, in, in, the, in their career, they've, they've seen this as part of their learning um, opportunities. And for me, coming in as a new um, editor-in-chief of the journal, it's, it's, it's one of the pleasures, actually, to be able to see a program which seems to, to work so well for everybody. So there's, there's lots to celebrate here. Um, I just want to mention this. This is the last slide that I'm going to show that um, in terms of the whole question, which is a question for everybody on this call of um, developing capacity, changing the face of who's involved in scholarly publishing and so on. This um, intervention from, from our journal is, is, is only part of what we do so that we've been um, running 
workshops on um, writing skills. We just established a regular monthly writing skills uh, and, and sort of demystifying the editorial process for anybody who, who wants to participate, um, which is um, going quite well. Uh, we, we similarly um, are doing some more training on um, peer review skills, because we believe at the journal that it's, it's really important for these um, skills to be disseminated. The, these slides were, were prepared by uh, Dr. Linda Fick, who's the managing editor of, of the journal, and I'm very grateful to her and Nadia Krobler in particular, and also to all the associate editors for coming into this journal, which already has interesting, useful, and, uh, and uh, helpful interventions in place. And I'd be happy to, to uh, deal with any questions or comments. Thank you, Keith.